What's going on friends? Welcome back. Are you curious about crypto? Maybe you want to buy an NFT. Do you need help setting up a DeFi wallet? Maybe loading that wallet with crypto? Maybe you want to buy an NFT from a secondary marketplace such as OpenSea or Magic Eden. Maybe you're confused by the crypto terminology such as FUD, FUDDING, FOMO, APING IN, PAPER HAND, DIAMOND HAND, so forth and so on. Well if you are, then you're in luck because this is a playlist made just for you. We're going to continue adding step-by-steps and how-to guides so you can follow along on your NFT and crypto journey as well. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment, turn on the notifications so you don't miss the next video. And while you're all doing that, we're going to check out this intro and I'll be right back. You could try to play, but you're never going to beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me. Bloody ends break through the chains, go free me. Look up a chain. Welcome back, friends. TJ, this is THC and NFTs. And today we're back on our first installment of the how to guide for crypto and NFTs. Today we're going to talk about how to set up a DeFi wallet. Now, first off, what is a DeFi wallet? A DeFi wallet stands for Decentralized Finance Wallet. Now there are two types of DeFi wallets. First, there is a custodial wallet, then there is a non-custodial wallet. What are the differences? Well, a custodial wallet such as Coinbase, you do not own your seed phrase. If you were to lose your password, there is support and they could help you recover your password. But at the same time, a custodial wallet is considered not as secure because you do not own your own assets similar to a bank. In a non-custodial wallet such as MetaMask, you are responsible for your seed phrase. So if you were to lose your password, you re could recover your wallet with your seed phrase, but if you lose your seed phrase, you cannot recover your wallet at all. So all your assets, NFTs, crypto, it's all lost. There is a lot more responsibility with a non-custodial wallet. So that's why a lot of people prefer custodial wallets for the ease of use. Now, for me personally, I use both. But today we're going to go over how to set up a non-custodial wallet such as MetaMask. I use MetaMask to mint, buy off secondary, and store all my NFTs. I do not store any of my crypto in MetaMask, but I do store my NFTs in MetaMask and on a ledger. I also recommend you have a pen or a piece of paper, something to write with close by, because you're going to want to write this down so you do not forget your seed phrase. So go ahead and open up your Google Chrome browser if you do not have Google Chrome. I recommend you downloading that browser. You can use other browsers. I personally use Google Chrome for its ease of use and compatibility with most minting sites. All right, let's dive right on in. So you're gonna wanna go to metamask.io. So this is what the Metamask landing page looks like. There's features, support, about, build. We're not gonna dive into that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to night. So I don't have to injure your eyes with that bright white screen. Now. We're going to download for the Google Chrome uh, browser. We're going to add to Chrome. We're going to click Add Extension. Connecting you to Ethereum and the decentralized web. We're happy to see you. Let's get started. So it's going to give you the option to recover your wallet. If you have a seed phrase, you can enter your seed phrase right here. And if you do not have a wallet, like we're gonna be doing, we're gonna set up our wallet right here. So let's click create a wallet. On this next page right here, MetaMask is just asking if they can collect your data. Now they say they're never gonna collect your address, your transaction, balance history, or any of your personal information. They're only trying to better understand how we interact with the browser and our extension. And if for this case, I will agree. I do, I would like to see MetaMask have more support. So. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be showing <clears throat> I'm going to be showing everything. Now, I do have my own wallets. This is not going to be a wallet I ever use. So if you want to try and use this wallet, have fun, but this is only for tutorial purposes. All right, we're going to create a password that's 8 characters minimum. Click next or create. The next video that pops up on Minimask is going to be a video discussing wallet safety and how to keep your secret recovery phrase safe. I personally recommend watching the video, but for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to skip this and click next. Now, right here is where 
your pen and paper is going to come in handy. So this page is the most important page. I recommend not doing it with anyone around you. Um, this should always be kept secret, kept in a safe space, somewhere that you will not lose it, somewhere that you know it's going to stay safe for many years to come because you do not want to lose this recovery seed phrase and you do not want someone to steal it. So right here, we're going to click reveal secret word. So right here is the seed phrase, your secret recovery phrase that you need to save. It is very important that you do not lose this. Write it down in order from left to right and starting at the top. After you've written your recovery seed phrase down and you have it safe, we're going to click the next and we're going to enter our seed phrase in the order that we wrote it down. in. After you've entered all 12 words of your secret recovery phrase, you're going to click confirm. And congratulations, you have passed the test. Keep your secret recovery phrase safe. It is your responsibility. All right, you're all done. That simple, my friends. Now, make sure you keep that seed phrase really safe. Do not lose it, store it somewhere safe. I recommend maybe writing it down two or three times, putting it in a lockbox, maybe a safe that you have in your house, leaving a copy of it with your parents, somewhere, someone that you trust to not steal your seed phrase. But you do not ever want to lose this because you will lose all your assets. It's very important that you keep this safe. So until next time, friends, and until installment two, please enjoy yourself. Have a great day. Stay safe in this space. And I love y'all. Peace out.